I'm here with uh, Revolver. We've got Jeremy, Hi. Christophe, Hello. and Amboise. Hey. So uh, we'll just jump right in. So this is your first tour in America, yeah. and this is the first show. Yeah. Extremely exciting. How does that feel? Uh, we've just arrived yesterday, uh, last night. So it's very exciting to have a, a gig on the first day in Washington. So yeah, we'll see. The place is cool. The venue is very cool. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> well, um, no, it's gonna be a, a very, uh, very, very cool uh, month, I think, because we're gonna play in so many different cities that for most of it we've never been to and uh, never played to, so you know, we're very, very excited. Have you had any experience traveling in the in the U.S. at all? Yeah, in, in October. Yeah, we came, we came a month, uh, two weeks in Los Angeles and two weeks in New York in October. My hometown, Los Angeles. Oh, really? Yeah. You're lucky. <laughs> I agree. Nice weather. <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed a lot of the Californian weather and the way of, of being, you know, laid back and it's very nice. Definitely. Yeah, we, yeah, we, but the, we're but very happy to, to, to end the tour in Los Angeles, yeah. just before South by Southwest. Yeah. But this time is going to be really more intense than it was in October. In October it was just uh, two different cities and now it's uh, like 15, 15, uh, 15 two shows. <laughs> yeah. It's exciting. And it's going to be yeah. two, two shows a day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a real road band, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what, how about like <laughs> playing music in the US? Is it a very different musical culture? Do you notice anything different yeah, about the, the crowds or about yeah, it, it, the, the impression is different. but. We we've we haven't uh, played so much in the U.S. to to, to like to, to tell exactly uh, what is different between the French crowd that we know very well because we've played like 200 gigs in, in France for, for the past two years. So what what is different is um, we we can feel that uh, people in the audience uh, well how to say that without being uh, insulted to the French <laughs> public. They, they know better the, the, that kind of music, you know. When we talk about Elliot Smith or um, Cross Beasties and Nash, uh, people here know very well this music. And so it feels like our references are most known here. And uh, mm -hmm. more... Yeah, uh, in France, there's a very different uh, musical background. It's not, it's not at all about pop music uh, here, it's like the, the, the country of pop music, and, uh, so yeah, it's very different, and, and, and also the, like the audience can uh, understand and relate to the lyrics very easily, uh, so that changes everything. Yeah. yeah, just the fact that it's in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. All For right. us it's very different to, to sing in front of uh, uh, a crowd that understand the lyrics, it ma makes us sing them very differently, and uh, we we're more conscious of what we're talk actually talking about. So that's very interesting. It's a very new experience. <laughs> and is that intimidating at all, or you know, it just um, normal flows out? Yeah, well, it is. It's, it is. Yeah. it's uh, intimidating and uh, but motivating. Too. Yeah, m motivating because we are more into what we're really uh, telling, so it makes me it makes more sense. So, coming off that, a lot of your songs really do have kind of a story mm -hmm. within. Do you, do you feel that way? I mean, from, from what I've heard, I yeah. often hear a theme throughout. So when you're writing the lyrics, do you think of it that way? Are you thinking of it as, you know, each song as its own story, its own life? And ha how do you write the songs, we write the lyrics? We don't really uh, think about any connection between the songs. Like, uh, the, there's not no uh, record on story, you know, like we're not talking about uh, the same subject on every song, but each song is very, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, autonome, you know, and... Uh, yeah, each song has a, yeah, a autonomous. special mood, autonomous. special mood and special story to tell. Yeah. But I don't know how to describe that. Like, it's, it's, it's so, it's unconscious. I don't know exactly how to analyze that. Yeah, it's okay. I, I guess it's inspired by meetings and uh, meeting people and uh, situations. We're not really inspired by, I don't know, like, uh, paintings or, or <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, you know, we, it's just what comes out of, from your, your mind, you know, and the, the, the best songs, uh, 
uh, are the ones that come very uh, uh, naturally and without any effort. Yeah. Th then there is a lot of effort on working on it and making it uh, becoming uh, become a, a, a good song. But the, the basic ideas they must come quite quickly and without effort. And is it the same thing with the instrumentals, where it just just comes out and it, it grows? Grows like that pretty quickly. Well, we don't really think about instrumentals separated to to, 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 vocals. to lyrics because we're thinking in terms of songs, really. Yeah. So it's really about the meeting between the lyrics and the melodies. Yeah. Great. That's it's really interesting to hear because I think a lot of bands maybe really do separate them out. You know, have someone in yeah. the band is better at writing the instrumentals, and then someone is the singer. Writes the, the lyrics. Yeah, that's right. But we, we all have our uh, specificities, you know. Uh, we, we don't write the, the same things in, in the band, I, I, I mean. But we, we do write both at the same time. It, it's very difficult to write uh, separate for us to write lyrics after having a, a melody. Yeah. Or, or the contrary, you know. Yeah. It's even harder the other way. Yeah, it's first you have lyrics and then the uh, music like, it's very complicated. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Friends uh, write, uh, write, you know, we, I, I had emails from friends uh, telling me, uh, oh, I, I wrote a, a text, uh, I think it could be a good song, and I want to say them, oh, it's a good text, but I, I don't know if I'm going to make a song of it, you know, uh, it's, it's not this way that it works. Yeah. It's, it's too difficult, or it's, too, it's not the way we, 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 we like to, to process, you know. Yeah. So, so you're a pretty young band. How old are you guys? Twenty-seven? No, twenty-four. Twenty-four. 24 by uh, average. Yeah. All right. So a very young band, yeah. and I mean it's like kind of bursting onto the scene. How does that feel? Have you had any like when you're interacting with your label or when you're interacting with other bands? Do you have a kind of a sense of where you are? Do Do you feel like other people like put you in a certain tier as a band, or? Mm, no, I'm not sure. I understand. Um, I don't think you have this feeling. It just as a young band, do you feel like a young band? Or do you feel like more of a, a band without that the age or you know new career being an aspect at all? Well, I think we, we have the, the edge that we have. You know, we're, we're not pretending to be a very mature band. Or, but uh, being a young band doesn't uh, uh, mean that we are uh, you know, uh, manipulated or yeah. that we don't do the music we want to do. And uh, since we, I, I think we, we're we still uh, working with the, the people that we trust and, uh, and with the, we, we selected, you know, the, the people we're working with right now. And I think the, the one that we, that, that, that are around us, like our manager or our A&R or even our label, there are people that's the same team for yeah, uh, since the beginning. So, yeah. so it's, it, it, they are more like um, not really member of the band, but uh, they are very close to, to to what we what we think and what we want to do. And we talk a lot to them about the directions of the music. And uh, so there's no there's no really conflict between the band and the music industry. Yeah. The, people from the industry. That's great. It's lucky. Yeah, it's lucky, but uh, it's a way of, I think it's a way of concealing uh, both interests, that it's not two entities uh, fighting uh, against, you know... Yeah, it uh, can be, but it's... It, 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 it can be, but we, 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 we they, the both parts have to make efforts to understand why, why there are labels and why there are bands, but uh, maybe we're very lucky and we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So, do you, I mean, at this age, are you looking at music as, you know, a lifelong career? I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good answer. Well, I think I had never thought of uh, playing music, like, uh, for a living, so, so how can I answer the question? I have no idea. I hope so, but maybe, you know, maybe not. Well, um, I, I really don't... Uh, think uh, in terms of career uh, because uh, it's it's not really uh, uh, how to say that uh, it, it, you, you can't really organize your future when you're doing music yeah uh, or ever really 
Yeah, but um, and uh, and you you don't you, you don't really organize your your feelings and your uh, what what you want to do at the precise time. Maybe in one year I, I'm gonna be like uh, I I won't want to play guitar anymore because I don't know and I want want to 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 cook things. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, it's hard to say, but um, as far as I'm. As I know right now, I, I don't think about stopping playing music. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of people don't know what they want to do. I don't know what I want to do, you know, right after college. Yeah. So I just got to live in the moment. Future comes, and then. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I ended up playing music. <laughs> it's cool. It's fun. It's fun. You're lucky. I think a lot of people wish they could play music, well or at all. <laughs> So there's, I mean, do you have any goals with with your music to, for on any level? I mean, are you looking to be you know a huge worldwide famous band or? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, not necessarily. But if it happens, we're not. We'll yeah. see what happens then. <laughs> like it, it would be an interesting experience. Yeah. If we're talking about a goal, I think it would be to to try to compose the best melodies and the best songs. Uh, because we we are in a in a moment that, where the the melodies are not that popular and not that uh, I mean they're becoming po poorer and poorer, you know, and, uh, and being replaced by by anything in particular in your mind. Uh, just poorer melodies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just we, produced the same thing over and over, like yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's it's like a, a circle, you know. We, we're just recycling all things, and then the the, the, the circle is, is getting just uh, smaller and smaller. Yeah. We, we we started recycling like uh, music from the 60s and the 70s. Now we're more into the 80s and 90s, and maybe in like uh, five year five years time we're, we're gonna be recycling the, the the music from last week. I don't know. So so it's it's a bit scary to you know to 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 listen to the very big productions from today. So what would be kind of the pinnacle moment, pinnacle uh, achievement for you in music? I mean, an award? Probably not, but playing a big not, not festival? Not necessarily or? an award, but it's just I, I to, write, to write better songs, that's it. Really, yeah. when, you, when you write a song, you, you keep uh, feeling that it's the last song you can write. Uh, like you, you, you won't be able to write another song. Yeah. And so, just just to like just to write down another song is a, a good feeling enough. <laughs> yeah. So now that you're, I mean, you've been on tour in Europe a few times, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Been touring in uh, in France, in France, Europe, Germany, UK. So what is that? Germany. What is it like for kind of your life, your personal life, to be on tour, to be in this band lifestyle? Because it's a you know three years, right? Pretty new yeah. in your life. Yeah, uh, it's been touring for two years. Yeah, yeah, two years on the road. It's, it's kind of it's kind of a dream come true, you know, uh, because we when we started the band, we were just thinking about doing as many gigs as we as we could, and uh, we we spent like two years on tour in Europe, especially in France, where we played like 100 gig and a half, you know, 150 gigs. And, and, uh, so it was uh, completely amazing to, to live this year really on the road in, in the bus all together with our, with our drummer, with our manager, with a... Uh, yeah, and the road uh, is a very special thing, it's, it's uh, hard to describe. <laughs>